A one, two, three, four. I am at Lowe's in Antioch, and oh my gosh, do they have better selections than Home Depot. Oh my gosh, look at these pots. Hey, my gosh. Look at this. These are my colors, too. Oh, definitely coming back. Or maybe I'm just, I'll just grab some. What is this? Look at this. This is a succulent. Peperomia. Yeah, that is a succulent. This is the only one they have. Hmm. Oh, I love these pots. What the heck? Oh, I love these pots. I buy it just for the pots. I mean, they have any of these. But look, they don't take care of their plants. It's so dry. What is this? Hmm, I'm going to have to check it out. Where did they get these pots from? It's so nice. I love it. I have to pick the one that has the best plants in it. And I think this is it right here. I don't have it. I have this guy right here. I have this guy right here, but I don't... I don't have this red one or this green one. Thirteen dollars. The pot's so nice though. They pretty much just have jades. And on the other side of the this one too. Look at this. This is unusual. Uh, uh, Firestorm, but it's very dark colored. Look at this one. So I don't have the other jade too. And the rest is pretty much just your run of the mill. Succulents. Oh, look at this, guys. Isn't that so cute? But I bet you we can recreate this. Because all it is is a picture frame and then something built around it we can recreate that i mean it won't look exactly like but if you paint it the same crackle paint i bet you we can do that that could be a, our project to do to do to do to do to do to do, do succulents succulents oh i have to go i gotta go This mother of a thousand thing. Okay, I really have to go because I have an appointment. Yeah, I'm going. Alright guys, that concludes our Lowe's haul. Oh the segment before this and I got this wonderful planter it doesn't tell me what they are but uh, this is a jade plant I don't know what this is probably some kind of a crassula so is this one 
and then um, this is take this off. And this is a I forget what it is, but it probably is Sadum Nos Bomeranian. Either that or it's some kind of a Sadum uh, green something. So that's one, but I love, love the pot that it came in. Look at this pot. Isn't that pretty? I mean, just so, oh, oh, okay. So this pot, there's, they just put it in there. <laughs> okay, I'm good with that. At least I can already sterilize that pot before I repot this one into it um, but I'm not even sure if I want to do that I might just plant it outside and then there's this one again it's a this is some kind of an aloe right here I don't know what kind of aloe it is but it's pretty it's like very small petite and I've never seen one like this before now, Lowe's is a different, a different animal. Um, while Home Depot and Walmart overwater theirs, Lowe's barely water. <laughs> this is really, really dry, and I see, um, I don't know, calcium deposits already in there. So we're gonna try to make it so they're very healthy. Um, repotted in the pots in the pot in these pots aren't they just beautiful maybe i'll add something that's uh lighter in color to make to to just have a contrast i mean there's a contrast here i love this um firestorm right here the satan firestorm because uh it is not as bright as the regular firestorm which is yellow and um, orange uh, edges this one has green and red edges which would be cool to put together oh it's giving me an idea maybe i'll find the yellow type and then put them all together in the same pot maybe i will okay so let me strategize and see what I should be doing and then I'll show you what I'm doing okay guys I just want to show you how I sterilize my pot this is a bucket full of water with uh, bleach in it just dip it in there and just make sure that everything is dunked in there just to kill the germs or whatever is in there that's might be harmful to my plants and that's it then I'll take uh I'll take a paper towel and just wipe it wipe it dry I don't want to dunk it too much because I don't want to ruin the design if if the bleach gets onto it so i'm gonna dry it out real quick and, and that's it i could still smell the bleach in it something slimy in there which is a really good idea to just clean your pots like this so if there's any pathogens any bacteria that's growing there it is now dead okay so now that we have our pots cleaned now we have to take some screen some kind of a screening thing to go on the hole of this like this okay and then I'm going to backfill it with my soil. I would say 70% potting mix. And then I added 
maybe 20% of uh, the perlite and then 10% 10% pumice so there there we go I want to start with this one and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get rid of all of that dirt every single because I don't know how where this dirt came from and the history and what's in it you just never know so it's always a good idea to get rid of the original dirt and I mean if this plant has also been sitting in this dirt for ever um, it's always it's always a good idea to give it fresh give your plants fresh dirt and I'm not I don't know if I want to put all of these back into the that planter um, hmm I may not I may not. I definitely may not. This one is I like I like this one. So it's pretty dry. But my soil has a little bit of moisture in it. And it and it the evidence is the proof is in the pudding because it's pretty dry and this is already puckered up see so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dunk it into my hydrogen peroxide water just to get it this is my hydrogen peroxide water it's already got the muck in it from the other plants that I dunked in here and I'm just dunking it right here just because this antimicrobial mix it actually helps the plant also because hydrogen peroxide is like um, rainwater it has the same elements as rainwater so you know you notice like after it rains your plants are just like peppy they look peppier um, that's just because of the the same elements that's in hydrogen peroxide is in rainwater and just let that dry a little bit um, I'm just trying to decide whether to put it back into that pot or not so I have to research this plant right here because I don't know the name of it but doesn't it look like the Fichenkoi like the mother of a thousand but it's no it's not it's a uh, Fichenkoi Kalenkoi Crassola, Fichinkoi, I'm making it up <laughs> as I go. I don't know, but I will have the name for you so you know what it, it's called. I mean, for some people, they don't really care what the plants are called. They just like the looks of it, but I do. I like to know my plants. It's like knowing their history, where they came from what makes them tick how they're how to take care of them okay so now that I have this in a pot it's a brand new soil I've checked for uh, mealybugs it doesn't seem I don't see any uh, which means that whoever they got this plant from is pretty 
where they get it from cactuscollection.com it says water 7 to 10 days in between but really that's not true because it really depends on where you live so if you live in Arizona of course you have to water it more often especially in this weather in that well in that weather in California right here in Napa um, the weather is unpredictable sometimes it's cool and then it gets hot in the afternoon and sometimes it's just really hot so there you have it is that pretty or what I'll have a picture of course As always, if you like this video, please smash the like button, share, 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 comment, and click the subscribe button so you don't miss out. And remember, XOXO!